McDonald's mukbang. Let's do this. All right. So today I have some McDonald's. It's been a while since so I actually did this. Um, I don't have a very very big menu today because I'm not that super hungry. But I thought you know what? Let's make a mukbang nonetheless. So I've already got uh, ice cream that I ate unfortunately. So yeah, I just thought I'd use it for the thumbnail. But anyways, a lot, a lot of people ask me what is this? This is called fritzas. I don't think you can get this in America though. I don't think you guys can. But we got some. We got a McChicken. We got some fries which. I like an erectile dysfunction. They're like slop. They're like sloppy. But yeah, I'm eating well, man. I'm in a pretty chill mood today. Um, I want to talk about some stuff as well. I'm a bit more serious today. But anyways, let's eat this. Damn. Now, what surprises me always about the vegetarian stuff? How good that stuff tastes. Now, this was going to be a KFC one. However, KFC has stopped ordering or making vegetarian chicken, which kind of sucks. But oh well, it is how it is. Mm, that's good, man. Mm. Now, I actually think this is the only vegetarian burger they have at McDonald's that I know of, at least. I'm not too familiar with McDonald's menus in general. Wow. But I, so a lot, a lot of people ask me, the girl in my previous mukbang, uh, Micah, is she my girlfriend? No, she's not my girlfriend. Um, just to clarify, we are not dating nor are we in love with each other there are other reasons for that and we are just not made for each other i suppose you know what i mean uh sometimes people just sometimes people just aren't made for each other and um it is what it is you know i told her that you know i, I really like you not that i'm in love with her but i just said you know i, I like you and she said yeah i, I can see that you, you always compliment me i say well a good looking girl always needs compliments like am i right um, but it's so cool though, um, I'm not gonna discuss too much about it, but we are just friends, alright? We're not no friends with benefits, nothing like that. <laughs> no, that's weird, man. That's weird. Like, no joke, friends with benefits is weird as fuck. I think that's really whack. But yeah, we're just friends, man. It's good though. Mm. I should probably order more the next time. I always realize how small the menus are actually. They charge you like nine nine bucks here in the Netherlands. Why I say dollars? Because majority of you guys are American, so it makes more sense. It's fucking expensive. Um I think a burger alone, five twenty five, ridiculous, I know. Um even though I'm considering yes it is vegetarian, it's always a bit more more pricey. Um, oh, and I also got some iced tea today, but uh, the fries are pretty cheap. Um, but now the burgers are very small. I don't know what it is, but you you would always re you'd always assume because of the adverts, you know, like it's massive. It really isn't. It's very small. I don't know why. But it's definitely good. It's a good snack though. Uh, is it healthy? I mean, yeah, not if you eat it every day though, obviously, but that's different. Now, I was going to get apple pies, however, they don't sell them anymore, which is kind of disappointing, even though I love the apple pies, and they make an amazing sound. They just don't sell them anymore, which I don't get. Um, maybe they didn't sell good. I don't know, but it was my favorite at McDonald's, you know. Hmm. Hmm. Trust me, we've all been friend zoned once in our life. It fucking sucks, alright? I've been there multiple times. <laughs> but it's so good, you know. They don't have to be boyfriend or girlfriend to have a friendship, you know. I always say that. People, two people can be in love. But maybe not meant for each other. You know what I mean? Now, not that I was in love, but it's just a statement, you know. Two people can be in love, but not meant for each other. Think like that. But yeah, no, I told her what I felt about it, and then um, she was very honest about about the whole thing now, and I appreciated that. I do. So yeah, we're just friends, man. Even though a lot of people said, oh my god, y'all make such a cute couple. 
Do you think we would? That's honest opinion down in the comments. Do you think we, me and her would be, if we'd ever had something, be a good couple? I don't know. I haven't had a relationship in a while. I think my last relationship was fucking long ago. I think, like, actual legit relationship. Like, my actual last decent relationship was probably three years ago. My girlfriend was at the time. 17, 18, I was 15, 16, which is perfect. Mm. But yeah, like I said, sometimes people are just not meant for each other, you know? Sometimes you just don't have that, that bond, you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't... It's the same with, um... Shit, how do I say it correctly, you know? Sometimes things are just not meant for each other, you know? That's just what I'm gonna say. You can have the one person that is so in love with another person, which I had before. I was, I was, before this whole stuff, you know, I was so in love with someone. And I kept chasing him. And I always say, there ain't nothing wrong with doing stuff, stuff for a person, but don't chase him too much. Because eventually they'll be like, oh, this is fucking annoying. You keep on chasing me. You're a nice guy. I know you mean the good and all the tension, but you're irritating me right now. You don't want that, obviously. You want to keep it low. You want to. You don't want to do too much for her. Um, but it all just depends on on the on the individual person, how that person is in general. You know, if that person doesn't mind being chased, then hell yeah, go for it. But if that person does, don't chase him. Now it, it's very strange. It's very strange. People are weird. Look at me. I'm weird as fuck. But at least I acknowledge it. You know that I am weird. <laughs> Yeah. But anyways, let's talk about something else. I keep talking about her. Um. Yeah, no, but um. So I went to McDonald's today, you know, like I said, and I was gonna, cause it was weird, cause when I went four or five days ago with them, with my friends, um, they had the mini apple pies on the menu still, you know, outside hanging. So I so I go there today, and I was like, I. Right, I want to get some for the mukbang and the ASMR, you know, the ASMR that I posted yesterday, by the way, go check it out, ASMR eating McDonald's, uh, like I said, it was going to be KFC versus McDonald's, but like I said, they don't sell vegetarian chicken anymore, and for those who know, I don't eat any type of meat, I don't eat pork, lamb, cow, chicken, none of that, nothing animal based, uh, or meat based, um, but yeah, I was kind of disappointed and kind of surprised because I at an eventual point you, you start to think do they scrap it off the menu because A they don't have it in stock anymore or B it doesn't sell well or C someone had a complaint about it you know you, you start to wonder that um, but yeah being honest the, the thing I never get about McDonald's let me tell you something right now how the fuck do they make their bread so fluffy like you don't you ever think like how's my bread so so fluffy it isn't realistic if you go to a bakery your bread ain't that fluffy, depending on what kind of bread it is, and you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I, lo I definitely love the vegetarian McChicken. Um, it's very basic, yet it's got a, it's got a lot, it's got a lot of flavor. It doesn't have ketchup or that fake stuff on that makes it so disgusting, like the normal like one dollar beef burgers. I never liked the beef burgers from McDonald's. Being very honest, they're like one dollar ones. Shit, in my opinion, very very thin patty, you know. Not just saying it because I'm vegetarian, but I never really liked them. Even if I, were, even when I was a meat eater, I've never been a huge fan of the cheap ones. You know, never, never good. But yeah, now McDonald's is expensive. Yeah. Let me tell you something. It's not cheap. I think I paid for three menus, to eight twenty-five. I was already sitting at like twenty-six dollars. I'm like, what the fuck? Twenty-six bucks. This would cost me like, no, oh, that's great. This would, this would cost me like ten euro in South Africa. You know, because there the food was cheap, but it was better. Much better. Oh yeah, man. South Africa was something different with their food. Um, that was something different, dude. Oh, let me tell you something about them. In South Africa, my 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 best experience when it came to meat, built on. Now, unfortunately, since I'm vegetarian, I will not be consuming that anymore. Even though that used to be my favorite dried meat. Nah, we good, man. We don't eat no meat anymore in this house. None of us actually do. <laughs> Some people, some people do complain about me and say, why don't you eat meat anymore? 
because I don't like it. It's boring as fuck your mukbangs. I'm like, well, that's that's cool, but it ain't your decision to make. If I don't want to eat meat, I don't eat meat. I mean, be honest. In the mukbangs, was, I actually think the mukbangs are more creative at the moment because the thing is that with vegetarian and vegan food is there are so many creative things you can make. You get very creative when you don't eat meat. You know what I mean? You, you get to make ideas. You get to make things that you in general wouldn't be able to make. You know what I mean? But it's really, really cool. And McDonald's is one of the only fast food chains that I actually know that actually sells good, decent vegetarian burgers. The Burger King is disgusting. I don't like that. I don't like that base. It's really... It's too soft. It breaks too easy. You know what I mean? That's the problem. Oh, fuck yeah, I want to talk about Pop Smoke, man. His album. Aim for the stars, shoot for the moon. What an album that is. I am not even gonna lie, man. I, cr I shed a little tear, man. I did. I listened to his whole album. What a waste of talent, man. Honestly, um, definitely 50 Cent. That's number two. Oh, wow, his voice was like 50 Cent. Scary, man. It's a waste. It, it really is, man. Um, yeah, it's crazy. His album is doing really good numbers right now. Uh, a lot of people are saying, you know, if he didn't, if he wouldn't have been dead, uh, his album would have wouldn't have scored these hits. Fortunately, that is true. When a rapper dies, their hits go up. Because his, 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 his music went 384% up when he died, the day. It doesn't necessarily have to be fake love. A lot of people just don't know an, an, an artist. Same with one little peep deceased. Never, I'd never heard of him before. Um, it doesn't mean that I'm showing fake love. It just, I never heard of the artist, you know. Mm. But yeah, I know pop. I know I knew Pop Smoke because of Christian Yule. You got one million likes on the song, which is awesome. It's a shame that he isn't here. You know, it really is. It, it fucking sucks, man. Such a good, young, talented kid. Wasn't even a grown up. Was twenty years. You know, crazy man. It is sad. It it really is sad. Um, but yeah, you know, you got to realize the lifestyle they choose is very dangerous. And unfortunately, he was affiliated with gang life. So yeah, I man, RP to the pup. You can't say pup and forget smoke. I think I fucked that up. Oh my god. No, it's good. No, it's good. You can't say you can't say pup and forget the smoke. No, it's good. That's how it is. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. 50, 50 cent producer's album, uh, well, executive produced it, he, he, he finished it, and uh, he did a very good job, he didn't charge no money for the for the producing, that's why I love 50 Cent, man, very, very cool guy, trust me, 50 Cent is the definition of a street gangster, he ain't nobody to fuck around with, trust me, if you know him from the past, he got shot multiple times, he's still alive, a lot of people clown 50 Cent in the past because he was an actor, my man, just because he's a street gangster doesn't mean that he's a clown because he acts. He's just smart and he's a smart businessman. There's no denying that 50 Cent is a very, very smart businessman. I think we can all agree with that. But everyone has a different opinion, you know, on a person at a venture point. Uh, but yeah, no, I love his album, man. I'm not dick riding. I generally love the album. I've been listening to Pop Smoke. You don't know. Every day, I think. Uh, for the, I think I've been listening to him literally. Crazy, um, crazy, crazy. There's a lot of his other songs I never heard, you know. Because uh, I love the way he vibes on the trap beat, you know, like on the drill beat. That's that was a special specialty. Definitely, without a doubt, you know, him on a drill beat. That was that's what that's what Pop Smoke was known for, you know, of his raw raw vibe on the beat, you know, uh, on the on the drill drill beat, you know. 808 Mellow produced his beats. I'm not sure if Axel did it, but I do know that Axel produced one of the beats from J. Critch Spooky that eventually got copyrighted off like four or five days because Drake had used... Well, it was basically Drake's beat. Beat. Uh, yeah, J. Critch, also one of my favorite artists from New York. I know the Boogie is from New York. I think 6 9 also. Lil TJ. 50 Cent is. Uh, but yeah, now J. Critch and Puff Smoke definitely are my favorite artists from New York. Definitely, man. It's a shame. It's really a shame that Pop Smoke isn't alive to witness the greatness of him, you know? 
Because trust me, he was going to be the next 50 Cent. But Alada, he was going to be the next star. He really was. And he also sneaked this uh, sort of 6 9 in this song, which is pretty dope. So that just show you that he didn't like 6 9 But uh, yeah, no, I really hope you enjoyed this. And by the way, if you're wondering um, what, what ch McChicken this is, it's a veggie McChicken. There, let me zoom in a bit more. There you go. If you're wondering what chicken it is, it's a veggie McChicken. So yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. Uh, I was a bit more chill today, vibing a bit. I ain't dissing, I'm just vibing on the beat. Um, but yeah, no, thank you so much for watching this video. And a lot of you enjoyed the previous mukbang with my crush. Is she my crush right now? Yeah, we're just friends, man. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this mukbang. And I'll see you in the next mukbang video. Peace out, virgins. Yeah.